Hi, I'm Kim I. Cutler with TechCrunch, and we are here today with Servios, which is pioneering the next wave of virtual reality startups. Earlier this month, the whole space got a huge boost when Facebook agreed to acquire Oculus for $2 billion. And actually, the Servios team came out of the very same University of Southern California VR lab that the Oculus team did. So do you want to tell me a little bit about where the whole space is going and why you've designed the Servios? Uh, yeah, so virtual reality really is kind of the new medium for the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And at Servios, we're developing a new full motion platform that allows you to actually walk around in full 3D space, mm -hmm. move around in 360 degrees, and actually feel completely immersed. So it has an unparalleled level of presence uh, for our system. It's kind of like the connector we experience meets the Oculus headset. It's, it's kind of like you watched the commercial for the Wii and you said, oh my god, you can move around in full space and you actually feel like you're there. It's kind of like what the we originally promised mm -hmm. is finally we can finally deliver on that because we finally have the technology and you're not tethered to the tv anymore and you're completely wireless and your motion is fully tracked it's not kind of half tracked like some of the other technology mm -hmm. and so the company has come a long way since the beginning when it was originally called project holodeck right so tell right. me what the original prototypes were like and what they're like today uh, the original project holodeck prototypes were uh, they were very bulky they actually were based on a skateboarding helmet that we had and some pvc piping and wow. uh, mesh backpacks with laptops and they were just really kind of goofy and the new prototype we have now is just a head a display in a very small backpack, and in the future, um, you know, it'll be even smaller. So we're actually uh, creating new technology that makes it very, very easy for people to just jump into virtual reality in a matter of seconds. And you've created a whole set of games that come along with the system, right? Uh, that's right. We've created a number of different titles: Zombies on the Holodeck, Wild Skies. We have a fantasy game that we're working on that's kind of Skyrim inspired. Uh, we also have a competitive multiplayer shooter that we're working on, as well as a number of different virtual reality applications. Uh, our virtual uh, 3D uh, user interface, as well as a virtual app store that you can go onto. Mm -hmm. So the possibilities of creating applications for this new medium, uh, they're just there's a million different things that could be created. Cool. So when can consumers get their hands on this? When can it be in our living rooms? Sometime in 2015 is uh, what we're looking at. All right, so let's check it out. Let's put on the headset. We brought over my friend Ashley, who's never ever worn an Oculus Rift or used any kind of nope. VR, h &D ever. First time. First time. So what this backpack does is it's essentially running the entire system. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can have a view in your headset, and you could also see your hands in virtual reality and then you're going to be able to move around in this full VR environment. So in front of you, you're going to see two pistols. Uh -huh. So you can actually uh, take a few steps oh. forward and reach out onto the table with wow. your hand. Okay. And you can grab a pistol and hold down on it when mm -hmm. you grab it. That's oh. your middle finger. And then you can fire with your index finger. That's fun. Fine weapon choice. Hmm. Okay, what? This one. Hmm. And don't forget, you can also carry two two uh, weapons in two separate hands if you like. Oh gosh, somebody got me. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> New grenades. You gotta pull out your pistol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm dead. I think it's I'm okay. dead. <laughs> Oh my Not gosh, too that was bad. so funny, guys. <laughs> Here, let me get these. You're going to pull the headset up. Yeah. Whew. Welcome back to reality. So now we're going to watch uh, a very, very experienced player take the zombie game. <laughs> Oh, he's getting back up. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. 